chère Confédération européenne des quatre, chers amis, c'est un vrai plaisir d'être avec vous aujourd'hui, même quand c'est virtuel. J'espère que vous vous verrez bientôt, et vrai. Félicitations pour le 70e anniversaire de votre organisation. And congratulations also to Maxime on his election as president and to the entire newly elected board and organization. As CEC Manager celebrates its 17th anniversary and we begin transition out of the pandemic, I'm sure that your leadership will bring new ideas, energy and optimism to the organization. Another process that is currently going on, which would benefit from your bright ideas, energy and optimism, is the Conference of the Future of Europe. This is the largest democratic exercise at EU level that we have ever seen. Over the course of the next year, citizens, policymakers, organizations will gather in person and online to share their ideas for the future of Europe. As an MEP and president of the European Movement International, I have been meeting and talking with plenty of citizens, not only from my constituency, but from all over Europe. Most of them expect that Europe will protect them, protect them physically, protect their freedom to travel and work, protect the environment and to protect them economically when a crisis strikes. If you ask any entrepreneur in Europe, they will tell you that they expect the EU to provide more investment for their business and infrastructure, something that you all are definitely very familiar with. European integration has its economic logic, but as every political project, it is based on the story it tells, on its ability to carry out on the promises it makes to the public. So the story behind EU nowadays is that it solves problems that single member states are unable to do and to solve. If no one believes that this is true, it does not matter how many technical standards we harmonize or resolutions we adopt. The Conference on the Future of Europe will be either a catalyst for deep changes in how the EU functions or it will be a moment of steep decline in trust and legitimacy of the EU. So we find ourselves at this critical point where we need more participation. We need higher interest and more involvement in the conference. And as managers and CEOs, you're uniquely positioned to contribute to that and to lead this discussion. So I highly and warmly encourage you all to talk to your companies, talk to your co-workers, attend events, get involved through the digital platform and share your view. Just as you are all leaders in business, you're also leaders in society. You're modern influencers as well, who can guide and promote the discussion on the future of Europe. The European Union has to be the problem solver of the next crisis and at the forefront of the technological and environmental challenges in the coming years. So this is why this conference is central to our ability to reach that goal and to be a global leader. And lastly, I will end with this. If we make a parallel to the Olympic Games, Olympic Games are the most important tournament in almost every sport because they happen on a four-year basis. Opportunities to change fundamentally the EU are even rarer. So I think we have to take advantage and we must work together. And I count very much on your active participation in the conference and I look forward to your future and in-depth engagement. Thank you.